And now for my main dish, roast beef a la coral, which of course Carl taught me how to do this one too. So actually you want to start off with the wonderful Louisiana beef tenderloin. Of course this can be purchased at your grocery store. I had mine cut according to the size that I wanted it. Of course you want to put your olive oil in the bottom of your pan because you will be baking this in the oven. Okay, now. Take your roast and you just coat it real well. Oh, good. Look how pretty this piece of beef is. Louisiana beef, okay? Now, of course, you're going to season it with salt and pepper first. Just a dab, okay? And pepper, okay? Very good. And this is some dry mustard. So, coat it real well. Mmm, this is going to make a wonderful crust on the, on the roast, okay? Pat it up, and you sprinkle some more, because this really adds to the flavor of your beef. And it makes a wonderful gravy, too. Okay, now next I'm going to bake this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes, and that depends on how large your, your beef tenderloin is, okay? Of course, for television purposes, I've already baked one, so I'm going to top it off. And that is exactly what I'm going to do, top it. Now, okay, you want to mix your three mustards, which are liquid mustards. This is my yellow mustard. Put it all together. Okay. The tarragon mustard. All right. And you can use just, well, this is Dijon, but you can use the Creole mustard if you want to, either one, as long as they're liquid mustards and have that tangy, zesty flavor that you need. Okay, you mix this up real good. Then you add some more dry mustard to it, okay? Now, last but not least, you're going to add whipping cream, which is, you know, that came as a surprise to me, because you know, <laughs> Cajuns uh, make brown gravies, they don't make cream gravies, to go with their beef, okay? Because I like to brown my beef real well, and it makes a brown crust on the bottom. But this, this will also form a crust, and you see how pretty and creamy this is? Add a little bit more. Of, all right. Mix it up real good before I top my roast with it. All right, this is, mm, all those flavors of those three mustards just come together, just perfect. All righty. Now, now, I'm just going to pour this over here, over my beef. Just, just pour it over real good. And get, let's see, use this one. Okay. Mmm, mm-hmm. This is going to really keep your beef from getting dry. Okay, and you add some chopped onion tops, green onions, shallots, whatever. <sighs> Very good. Mm. Okay, then I'll go back to the oven with it because this is going to need to bake another 10 minutes. Okay. So while that bakes for another 10 minutes, we need to go and start on our very berry dessert. 